Why black soldier fry don't like eggs for you? They are four environmental conditions that you need to ensure. Yes, hello friends. It's a beautiful morning here. It's 9 a.m. here in Uganda, in my country. Uh, it's sunny, as you can see. It's coming. The sun is out. And, uh, well, when you look closely to the love cage, what's taking place here? It's the mating. Well, um, I've been hearing some challenges you've been having of uh, fries not laying eggs uh, for you. Why black soldier fry don't lay eggs for you? They are four environmental conditions that you need to ensure. One, temperature. Black soldier fry are extremely sensitive to their environment. Thus, their conditions need to be monitored extensively to ensure the highest yield is obtained. The optimal temperature is between 25 to 30 for black soldier fly in the love cage. Well, the second condition that you need to put in place is humidity. Uh, a relative humidity of um, 30 to 90 percent promotes mating. Uh, then the third condition that you need to consider is lighting. Another aspect to be considered is a light source. Considering black soldier flies don't mate in winter months, naturally black soldier fly, black soldier fly require direct sun, sunlight to encourage mating. Um, the, third, the fourth is the diet. Well, black soldier fly you don't eat. Okay? They don't eat, but they drink. Uh, you need to ensure you provide them with water. And that water, you add uh, sugar so that they can have energy and live longer. Okay? So, those are the conditions you need to consider. And if they don't lay eggs in the first, uh, first day, don't get scared. Well, I need to tell you something very important. Um, you see, here, when you put your uh, pupa inside here and the fries start emerging out, the first day, the fries will be merging out from their shells the second day still the same story then on the third day you'll have mating activity on the fourth day the mating activity will be high and you have eggs but the first three days you may not see any eggs inside there and some of you have been complaining about that that you not have your flies are not laying egg, laying eggs for you so please uh, you have to give it time the first three days, you may not see any egg, egg. But on the fourth day, the laying peak will be high. On the fifth day, it will be high. On the sixth day, will be high. But on the seventh day, the curve will go down. The laying curve will go down. So that's what I can tell you about the experience that I have got from, from here. So now you see, here, this is the fifth day. And you can see the mating is taking place. But also you need to consider the other factors of the light, okay? So, if you don't have enough light in your love cage, don't expect much eggs in your love cage, okay? Don't expect mating, okay? So, um, and uh, this fly is usually mate uh, in the morning at around 9 uh, to 11, 12. That is their best mating time. So you need to have enough light and also you have to consider the, the temperatures inside the love cage. And um, 
just because uh, for the purpose of this video that I need to make it to show you but uh, the place should be quiet not to interrupt the flies from mating because the moment they uh, they are interrupted in the activity when they are in the activity of mating uh, the flies, uh, the female may not, may not lay eggs for you so it's supposed to be a quiet place okay so uh, note that what I usually do in the morning is that um, mm, just at seven, before these flies, uh, before the sun gets out, I come inside. I remove my eggs. I harvest my eggs in the morning. I get out, or in the evening when the sun is down, when the flies, uh, uh, when the flies are dull. So I pick out. But it's not wise enough to um, uh, harvest the eggs when the flies are mating because you're interrupting them. So you need to consider also that the place should be quiet. I've been receiving uh, messages uh, from friends uh, to talk about their love cage. Love cage but what i can advise you is make sure the love cage is tall enough at least six feet uh, because research has shown that um, that love cage should be tall uh, should be tall enough the males like to fly up and do acrobatics to attract the female okay and the mating takes place in that process because the mating takes place uh, in the process of the flight yeah, so make sure the love cage is um, is tall enough. At least six feet is is okay. Yeah. So consider those factors: light, temperatures, and also make sure you provide your flies with water, okay, so that they can have um, water inside. The water we put uh, molas or sugar, okay. If you don't have molas, you can use sugar to provide them with energy. So make consider those factors. Uh, please, there is a question that I want to ask you. How do you manage rats in your love in your uh, facility, in your colony? Uh, rats, then also lizards. If you, any of you has any uh, any solution, please put it under the comment section. I'll be able to um, uh, review it. Okay. Um, uh, peace and love. Endeavor to subscribe. Um, uh, love you so much. Bye-bye.